So again, just to, we all know why this is important, but it's always nice to kind of see this to see, you know, really what is this big picture and why are we on this webinar today? Because we really want to improve the quality of care for our patients. And so by doing that, we want to really enhance that patient experience. We want that to be the best it can be the minute the patient walks in the door to our system, to um, our practice, wherever that is. We want to improve our population health. For those of you that have been in healthcare a long time, um, it's really amazing to me how we have come to this population health perspective and, and really taking care of that care of that population health and looking at populations of patients around readmission, um, you know, medication errors, all kinds of things that we all do. And we also are looking at reducing costs. And then we also are looking at, and I think this is this nice piece, we're all very familiar with the triple aim, but I, I do like this, this component of the IHI is quadruple aim and the fact that it's really important to Per really improve the provider and clinical team work life experience, you know, to really look at how can we use quality improvement to really as look at the way we look at workflows and so that we can optimize that time that the practice has with that patient and how we can really make that visit full and meaningful to not only to the patient, but to the provider and the clinical staff taking care of that patient. And again, this is really, it's a little bit of, of what I went over before um, that was covered at the last module. But again, just some key points, you know, truly for transformation to happen, it's really at all levels of the organization. It has to be the organization as a whole, the practice as a whole that really embraces this work. And remember, this is work that you are doing every day. And so looking at these workflows and, and really trying to make them better, you know, it's really how it's presented. We want this clinical staff to feel like they are, you know, really making a difference we don't want to feel like we're adding more to their plate so it's really in that perspective and then how we, we roll this out so creating that vision like I just talked about and and again it's so important to involve everyone you know you may have this idea in your head and you may think this may be a great QI project that you'd like to do but again what you see and what they see in their roles and in the practice is invaluable to really creating what you want to work on for a QI project. And then incentives, what will motivate your staff? What, what do they look for? You know, is it, you know, um, again, sometimes the motivation alone is being feel like you're, you're part of the process. That can be a motivator. You know, I've seen practices have a you know, a pizza party, they'll have, you know, colorectal cancer screening rates as a, as a priority and they'll look at the different ways that each pod or each provider, whoever, you know, that's broken down into the practices. And so you know your staff, so what motivates them? And then also very important when you're creating this QI environment, take the time to look at that big picture around what are your resources for the project that you want to take on? What what are the staff? What are What's the capacity of the staff? Who do you want to have in this project? And space, physical, do you have the physical space to do this and where are you going to do it? And, and is it going to be in the exam room? Are you going to work in the waiting room? Or all those kind of pieces. And then looking again at time. So next slide. Again, quickly, just this team-based approach. I've already touched on this a little bit already. And I think this is a nice way to look at it as we, we, we so focus on that team-based approach to patient care and truly just look at it the same way for quality improvement. You know, this is a team-based approach. Let's do it together and we can really have that big impact that we want to have. And really for providers and clinical team, they will see the value of this quality improvement when they see the positive impact on their patients and efficiencies in the practice. You know, that's what they say, you know what? This is really working. This is really a great idea. And again, we, we want to get that joy back into that workflow. And QI work takes time. It takes patience. I always want to throw in there. Practice. And again, these positive experiences to really develop a trust in the process. <laughs>